Manufacturing for Rwanda is critical. The growth of the manufacturing sector has been very small. We need really to bring the manufacturing sector at the, the, higher, the higher level of operations compared with what has been happening in the past. Our business is getting maize milling for eating, supplying some industries in Rwanda, in raw material, like animal food. Manufacturing is very, very important. Rwanda has always been with 90% of his population in agriculture, but land is becoming rare and rare. We will need absolutely to change the structure of our economy. Those wire rods, we are using them for uh, drawing, we are drawing them and then we are making nails and also so, some small iron bars of six millimeters. It's a steel factory company which uh, started in 1987 by actually my father. He used to import a lot of material for constructions in steel. In order to stay in the middle and uh, not depend on the other countries, we have to invest in manufacture in manufacturing. After 1994, uh, to rebuild it was not easy. Our company took a part in the rebuilding because the domestic market was in, the, in need of, uh, of construction material because there were so many houses which were out, uh, which were destroyed, and also new houses which ha has to be built build because of also people who were coming in. When we see our product in the whole country, and that's a very nice thing, because you, 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 you can know our product because there is some stamps, so you know, ah, this house is with my roofing. Because when we came, when I survived, because I was here and I survived, and after the war, the country was really down, down. And at this time, I was afraid. I really couldn't imagine that we will um, come up from the level we were. And now I can say that I am really pleased to see that we have not only been able to come up from the deep, the, but we have been able to, 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 to develop much quickly than people could imagine. When I'm seeing even pictures of the of five years back and now, there is a very big change. There is those good roads. Now we have good roads. Rwanda has been uh, uh, taking off for many years ago. But what is really now is to accelerate our speed to be able to achieve our uh, target of uh, being a middle income status country by the year 2020 from where we are now. have 
seen in the last uh, five or six years. New big industrial group coming in to take advantage of uh, the, 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 the one and opportunity to produce here and uh, export goods and services in neighboring countries. Here, here we are doing flour, wheat flour. We are loading all the day, so we have to shift. The mill is running 24 hours. We don't stop meal. The mill is to do 250 tons a day, we have to run 24 hours. If we don't run 24 hours, we don't do the capacity of the mill. So we, we have staff every time, every day, seven days. Logically, it was planned for six days. Sunday, it was rest. <laughs> but now, because of the demand, we have to run even Sunday. And we are planning to put a new line. We even, in our policies, are looking how we really to sustain this trend and even uh, uh, increase the number of such kind of investors coming to the country. Of course, it's challenging because, you know, the, for example, the supply chain is not yet really there. We have to deal with what we have. We are managing, but I don't say it's easy. We, I manage every day. Every day I have to adapt my business to come. There are some work to be done, but yes, I believe it. I believe it. Even us, when we are leaving the country for two, three weeks, after when we come, there is a change. So in 2020, you will see these new plots uh, with machines. So our future, we think, is okay. <laughs>